Hi, and welcome back to Gardena Tutorials. This video will teach you how to access the student email using the student portal. Let's jump right in. As always, the first step is to choose the browser of your choice. Once you do this, please go to gateschools.net, click on Students, and click on Login to Student Portal. On this page, you will type in the student ID and the password to access the website. If you don't have this information, please contact your child's teacher. Once you log into your portal, you will look at the top and click where it says Apps, Services, and Sites. Here you will see all the free apps in alphabetical order. We're going to scroll down until we find MDCPS student email. If you click the star next to it, the app will now be saved as your favorites, meaning it will show down here every time you log in. Once you click on student email, you will be prompted to a sign in page. Here you would input the student's ID at dateschools.net. Here you will sign in using the student ID at students.dateschools.net. I am finally logged into my student email. If I look at the left panel, I see the word inbox with a number one next to it. This means that I have a new message. I'm gonna click the new message to open it. In this email, I can see I have an attachment. I can simply put my mouse over the attachment and click it. After reading this email, I realize that this person wants me to reply to ensure that I received it. I'm going to come up here and click this little side arrow that says reply. Now that I did this, I'm going to come here and I'm going to type my email. I received this email. I can also do this in Spanish. Once I'm done typing it, I'm just going to click send. If you would like to send an email to someone, you click on the left panel where it says new message. You will input the person's email address where it says to. Then you must add a subject. For example, on this one, I typed important. Here in the body is where you type the actual email. You can also put an attachment from your computer by clicking attach. When you're done with this, you can send the email by clicking down here where it says send or up here where it says send. This concludes today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Galeano Tutorials signing off.